Okay, if I want to solve this system by substitution, substitution says solve one of the equations for one of the variables and then take that expression and substitute it into the opposite equation. So each of these are already solved for y, so half of the work is already done for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first equation, which is y equals negative 2x minus 6, and I am going to, instead of having a y here, I'm going to put what the second equation says y equals to, this 3x plus 9. So, I'm just going to take this and put it in here. Okay, so 3x plus 9 equals negative 2x minus 6. So now all I just need to do is solve for x. So, I'm going to add 2x to both sides. So I'll have 5x plus 9 equals negative 6, then subtract 9 from both sides. So I'll have 5x is equal to negative 15, and then divide both sides by 5. So I get x is equal to negative 3. Now I'm not done because I now need to find y, and I can do that by taking this value for x and substituting it into either one of these equations. Okay, I'm going to substitute it into the second one because we already used the first one. So I'm going to take this and plug it in here. Okay, so I have y is equal to 3x plus 9, but instead of x I'm going to do negative 3. Oops, excuse me. So y is equal to negative 9 plus 9, so y is equal to 0. Now a lot of students will stop here and they'll leave their answer like this, but all answers should be written in ordered pair form, where x is the first value and y is the second, so it should be negative 3, 0, 